hello and welcome to episode 25 of the Tune in 10. Quarter ton, boys. Well played, well played. My name's Adam, that's Pete, that's Vince, and this is once... This is a happy episode of this time. Happy episode. We've, uh... Very happy episode. Ha episode, if you will. Yeah, so we've, um... We've beaten Swansea 3-0, and, um... What better way to start than let's let's talk about that. Victory, three points, sunny day, all came together, time at the ready, go! Well, I mean, I, I think for once we sort of saw, from my perspective, I saw a lot of Benitez's um, influence on the players. Um, obviously, we had a few sketchy moments in, in, in defence in the second half, I think, but for most of the game, we seemed comfortable. And what, what impressed me most um, was the fact that we seemed to be doing a lot of defending from the front. I think that's you could see why he picked sort of the likes of Cisse, who you know, regardless of what he might do in the game, will run his socks off. And we press them back, and we stop them from playing out of defence. And it was a very clear direction and tactic that I could see in in, in motion, um, and that was very effective. And I think it, it stifled them. And as I said, the, the, as we've talked about before, the their the creative players, um, Montero had enough game. Sigurdsson didn't see much of the ball either. Mm. I think yeah, that's kind of where not if he slipped on his arse <laughs> free kick yeah. after about 15 minutes yeah, didn't that's why he really shell didn't, didn't do much for his confidence did it yeah. but, but I, I just saw I saw signs there whether it's too little too late probably still I, I think 3-0 flattered us I don't think yeah. you're worthy of a 3-0 I thought 2-0 well yeah. I think we're going to agree at 3-0 flattered us um, I, I you're right about the game plan but when I saw the lineup, I thought God, if that was McLaren, he would get absolutely pulled to bits. Because how many times have people said, Fair start at home with the two defensive midfielders. But it worked because we had a game plan. I think the reason Shelby was dropped wasn't necessarily tactical. Do you think I it's think more... it was his temperament. I think the way he left Swansea, I think there's something a bit unsaid about the way he left Swansea. I think it was his temperament. And I also think That's a good point. that Benitez had an eye on the game against Man City. Man City game, yeah, of course. Well, actually, I'll start with I mean, Shelby is, That is, that is hor hor very worrying at this level. Um, you know, he's meant to be our captain. He's, you know, he's not a young... You know, he's 20, 24. Is he 24 now, Shelby? He's not a young Difficult lad. Difficult to age. From the... From, from, <laughs> from, <if, if>, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Touch of the Benjamin for buttons. A manager, for a manager to be worried about playing him against his old club for mentality reason it that'd be really worrying for me. As you say, I think you've hit the nail on the head if McLaren had started. Bear in mind Mitrovic's recent form and Shelby um against his old club if McLaren made that decision it would be like how I But but at the same I think, time I think would McLaren have won three 0 <laughs> Yeah well again I think the the result flattered us. I think but you know Still ultimately, ultimately ultimately yeah of course it did. And ultimately we need to set ourselves up against any team to protect that defence massively, 100%. So you need Talk to about that, I was impressed with Lascelles, he's gone aside, I thought he, he, he's grown, I mean, he's getting well, better. I, the, the, the fact he came out after the game, um, I think, did him. Yeah, I mean, I panned, I panned him against Leicester because he was quite, he was horrendous, him and Taylor at the back, but he, he, he like you say, he, the amount of aerial duels he won, he looked assured, um, and you didn't, you, you, you felt confident with him at the back, sort of, he's, Can't he's confident he's commanding players. I mean, it's, it's, like it's, it's it's one it's it's maybe an uh, a performance out of he's got a long way to go. Talking about performances, I I did like Townsend. And I think that's going to be the great shame if slash when we go down is <laughs> losing you could players see like him, this yeah. team kicking on under McLaren and a couple of signs you could see this team being Benitez? the nucleus of uh, Benitez being being the nucleus of a good team. You could see it. Yeah. I think. Regardless of the going down, I just think it's the unfulfilled potential. I tell you what, that, well, I read a, a brilliant quote that it said, uh, being a Newcastle fan, it's not the disappointment that kills us, it's the hope. <laughs> <laughs> yes. so Absolutely. Cool. But yeah. I, I still think, as much, again, I, well, I've got to say I was disappointed for us to go in at 1 0. I thought we'd start the second half and really go for it because I thought a second goal would kill Swansea yeah. off that team. They'd, they've got nothing to play with. Yeah. And we didn't. We still, we didn't we still made it, it a little thought, bit more difficult for ourselves. Until, didn't we, it was yeah. getting the sort of the 80 minute mark, seeing you, oh, are this yeah, gonna, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able yeah. to watch yeah. this. I mean, what a great impact Mitrovic had where he just like yeah, helped the guy out the way for the for setting up uh, yeah, Townsend. Yeah, yeah. You just get out of the way. I'm playing my mate through. So. Is that and then you know you look at but, uh, talking about that, the groundwork for those past two goals was Perez. 
if you think he almost did the pre-assist for both of those mm. goals, it was yeah. Perez, and you didn't really get much of the line, like much of the reporting, but seeing it, Perez, it was Perez. I'd like to see him sort of pick up some form because he's sort of gone a bit off the ball for his for his own standards. But hey, two goals from corners, eh? Two. Um, and and so sort of kind of coming up trumps, and obviously, um, that he's played it towards the end. Well, yeah, yeah. When he when he lost the ball, came back. But I mean, he played Sissoko in a more central berth, um, and he, he delivered. It? Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? <laughs> Again, when Alden went, he was it. Where well, he was just. I, was, <laughs> I mean, like, I literally at one point I didn't know where he was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said them. <laughs> Stop. Uh, that's the end of the first half. Um, reasons to be cheerful. Maybe temporarily. Um, right, we'll be back after half time. Hello, welcome back to the second half of the Tune in 10. Comfy? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, this is how he can do what he wants. Um, right, well, we, um, we ended the first half uh, chatting about the. Um, a, you know, a resurgent performance from um, Mr. Musa Sissoko. Um, but I thought for the, for the second half, following on that theme, let's talk about uh, the notion of captaincy. Um, who's, who's behaving like a captain? Who should be the captain? If we go down, um, who do we think is the captain going to be moving forward? Um, I'll leave it open-ended. Time at the ready, five minutes as usual. And go! Who else could have been captain for the game that was on the pitch? You know, who else could realistically be? I know Teote has been captain before, but I, that, I yeah, think there was a lack of alternative options. Okay. I know he's coming out and he's saying today, you know, I gave him it because of the French players, but I think it was a dearth of other options that meant it. That's a fair point. Captain. That's a fair point. I mean, I think, but I mean, it was a very, whether he was the only option or not, which obviously, kind of like you're saying, it sort of turns out that he sort of was, he's still... You, you you can't you can't come, draw any other conclusions, but um, him being given the captaincy gave him a sense of duty and responsibility, which I haven't best actually seen from him. Season. That's what I mean. That's what you said coming out of the ground um, was the best performance we've seen of him in the last six months. Was it? And, he's been with um, us four years. He came in January twenty twelve, didn't he? Bless him. He just likes to be loved, doesn't he? Bless him. Well, this is it. Um, but I mean, he, again, you know, he. he, he, he it came up trumps against West Ham at the back end of last season as well when we needed a you know we needed a goal and he, he drank quite rightfully sort of drank up the plaudits but he, he hasn't had he had he hasn't had enough of those moments for me um, but he, what 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 he what he did I mean as I said he played him centrally but he has played him centrally um, and he seemed to he, I don't know he, he seemed to get involved more he seemed to be thinking well. He did, He's been given what he wants, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. and but, that. But, uh, so I mean, you know, I think all season there doesn't seem to be much of a a team spirit there. Um, no, I mean that's and, what and we've and massively think, lacked. If I was if I was in that dressing room and there was Sissoko who's kind of huffed. Well, that's what it is. It's, it's petulance, years. isn't it? It's and temperamental. Then, and then he's been given his chance. I'd just be like, oh, I, I don't know. I, I just I can't imagine. You don't like, deserve it because yeah. of the. Yeah, and I'd be like, I'm not being led by you. Why, why would I? You've, 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 you've winged your, you've yeah, your way, to, way this. to it. Yeah. So, but I mean, I, I think going forward, I think it was the, it was absolutely the right decision to give the captaincy to Shaldi. Um, it was absolutely the wrong decision to stick with Colacini. I suppose again, you could argue who else maybe could have got. I think at the start of the season we did maybe discuss Yama actually. Yeah. Um, but no, I think Shelby, he, he's he's got a bit of passion there, and in the same way that Townsend, but I can't see Townsend leading. But no. Townsend just has the right mentality. It's he like, has. He's he like a modern professional. He's, he's, a like, he's a bit like he's a bit like Perez in that sense that he's sort of like, he's just got a professional head on. He all he cares about is doing well. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't want to huff. He's not a diva. He's not a you know. He had a few issues at Tottenham though, didn't he? Or do you think that was more because he felt like he wasn't treated right? Also, I, to be honest, he, he was loaned out so many times and he, I think there was, an, there was an issue that he'd had a bit of a ruckus with one of the coaches, I think. But in fairness, he wasn't getting his game and he was, it was probably just a frustrating time for him. He's getting his game at Newcastle yeah, he's and he scored, he scored three goals for us in, and, in, 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 and you know, it's, in terms of his ratio of scoring the games in his whole career, this is the most prolific yeah, he's yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's he's out, been our best player. But I mean, like you know, look at the likes of Colaccini, whereas 
you know, he's done his, he's done pretty much everything he can in the last couple of months to not get involved in our relegation fight. Um, and you've got someone, you've got someone like Jamal Lascelles who, you know, shown exactly the right attitude that we need. Um, sh talking sense and not shying away from the position that we're in, which is an awful one and one that's, I still believe will send us down as much as I'm really trying to uh, stay hopeful. Um, but I, I mean, I guess the Norwich Sunderland result really oh, hilarious, wouldn't it? If, it? if it was a result of Sunderland winning, they would give us new, 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 new hope. hope. I, I, I think, <laughs> think Sunderland will be the team that stays up. Mm. I did Either the, uh, logic would I suggest predicted the scores. I, mean, I went for the scores, it was on the Chronicle website this afternoon. Oh, yeah, I did that. And I we stayed up. I can't do it. Oh well, I have <laughs> Sunderland on fifty-six. Win, 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 win. Yes. win. I've won. I've won. We're up. It's fine. Right, That's sorted. Right. Um, Sunderland stayed up at yeah. one point. But I mean, let's. I mean, yeah. I mean, if we were to go down, then who would you pick as captain? I mean, you've got to. You, you, it, exactly. Well, this is. It's open to interpretation. Who would? I mean, I think. I actually think Shelby would stay if we went down. I, I, I do believe that, and I think he would be. A, I think he'll be a good candidate. And I think we'll get Philippe Senderos in as a free and he'll be our captain. <laughs> Those are the kind of players we've got to look oh, forward to. Yeah. <laughs> He's at Alkman now, isn't he? Well, um, what do you do you think Sosoba should now carry on with with yeah, the well, captaincy for the I mean I it's Shelby still, I think. But do you think what if Colacini comes back? Does Colacini just get it automatically? No, I don't think Colacini will be back. Because our problem under McLaren was leadership from McLaren himself. And from Colacini and from anyone in that dressing room, yeah, yeah, yeah. there was no, there was nobody speaking up. That's full time, oh. unfortunately. That was, that's, I was quite enjoying that debate. Yeah, that's that's it. real quick. Um, did you do it right? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. And viewers will see the timer was five minutes as usual. Um, right. Well, obviously, this is we're recording this before the Man City game. Predictions. Um, quick predictions. Um, we're going to lose 2 1. I think we're going to sneak a 1 0 win. Oh, I won the bet. Go for a draw. I actually had a bet. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> if I've won. I've put a 20 quid on Newcastle to win against the uh, yeah. Swansea. So a rare, a rare win. So the there. optimist, the spoils. I had a Newcastle win and a draw, Norwich and Sunderland. So I didn't win. It's probably not worth reporting, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But good on your win though, that was that's 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 kind of it's tangible. Proof you stand yeah. <laughs> proof. Okay, uh, five is in then, so whoever you you've got Look, no, that's not right, because these odds will be a lot shorter the loss, it should be proportionate. That's not the way the book is, that's not the way the bookies no, work. We're gonna to have to consult a mathematician and we'll be we'll be back to you in the comments. <laughs> um, good to see comments on the last episode, uh, a guy down in Australia. So good to know we've gone global. Thanks guys. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned. Um, keep your comments coming in below. Um, that's the end of the episode. And um, as usual, subscribe, get sharing. Um, I've been Adam, that's been Pete. That's been Vince, this has been the Tune in 10, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, bye, 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 bye.